This comes in all the way from Bang Good. And it is the most expensive multi-field EMF meter, the TM190. 10 Mars. And this guy will give you accurate readings on how much radiation. Made in Taiwan. It's range, frequency response, 50, 60 hertz, 2200, 2000 mg electric fields, RF strength, 50 to 3.5 gigahertz. So this should encapsulate basic 5G, not full 5G, but basic 5G. Look at that. So we got a magnetic field of 0.06, we've got six volts per meter, and you've got an RF strength between 800 and 1000 up in this room. You do not want to be putting your smartphone near your body. It goes straight up red. The United States magazine Consumer Reports recently recommended that nobody keep a phone in their pocket. That's crazy. So you get crazy RF signals. This is with a Samsung. When it's on sleep mode, when it's, when it's not awake, it's not broadcasting. It's very, very safe levels on your smartphone. However, as soon as you turn it on the screen, look at that, it goes crazy on the red signal. All right, let's see how an iPhone compares. iPhone, what was it? It wasn't even on. Look at that. The iPhone, when it's on sleep, is going crazy. You need to keep your phones at least 10 centimeters away from you. This is showing you cellular damage that occurred in animals that were prenatally exposed to mobile phone radiation. So these animals basically had significant damage to their liver. All right, now it's time to test out wireless headphones and let's put this guy close and straight up the bar's gone red and it's red here and we're about centimeters away from the transmitter. However, our brain sits here, our brain sits here, and boom shakalaka is getting done really harshly. And what they found was that newborns that had been exposed took three times as long to find their way out of an experimental maze and made twice as many errors. So brain's getting fried. So what I've done is I've actually cut out a piece of EMF protection material, which compromises primarily of tinfoil, rep up, and I'm going to cover the ear pad. All right, so now that both of these sides are covered up, we're getting about mid strength. It's a yellow bar rather than red, so our brain is a lot more protected. For context, this is my AC Wi-Fi router, and at two meters away, it's on two or one green bar. If I go in for it to be one meter away, you can see that it jumps up, but it's still in the green, and maybe one yellow bar at most. If I go in really close, about 10 centimeters away, that's where I get to the red danger zone levels. And even at that, it's still lower than Sydney levels. So living in Sydney is like living constantly 10 centimeters away from your Wi-Fi router. In the middle of George Street, Sydney. <laughs> wow. It's them, isn't it? We've switched on a new era of connectivity. Groundbreaking technology has been installed in 40 smart nodes. They're everywhere. This road is, this road is, uh, oh my God. Hello Telstra, how you doing? Yeah, this road is rancid. Look at that. Yowzers. That is a constant red. <laughs> oh my God. All right, prenatally exposed mice have hyperactivity as adults. And these are some of the data. They have worse memory, they're more hyperactive, they have more anxiety, but they don't have much fear. This is the best device ever. This, my friends, the 10 Mars multi-field EMF reader it is sick AF.